Our planet is formed by constantly moving tectonic plates. Their interactions at boundaries cause geological phenomena, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. There are four types of tectonic plate movements. At divergent boundaries, tectonic plates move away from each other. Divergent boundaries are often found along mid-ocean ridges, creating new oceanic crusts and widening the oceans. At convergent boundaries, plates move towards one another. The Himalayas, formed by the collision of the Indian and Eurasian plates, are a classic example of mountains formed by continental-continental plate convergence. Transform boundaries occur when plates slide past each other horizontally, causing earthquakes due to stress along the fault line. The San Andreas Fault in California is one of the most well-known examples of a transform boundary, where the Pacific Plate moves northward relative to the North American Plate. Oblique boundaries form when plates move diagonally relative to each other, resulting in both shearing and either compression or extension of the crust. To explain how earthquakes are prepared, let's consider a simplified model based on transform plate boundaries. Consider two seismic systems, A and B, each consisting of two plates that move relative to each other. System A has two small adhesion zones between its plates, which result in two small earthquakes. In contrast, System B has a single large adhesion zone that can cause a major earthquake. The process is driven by forces that move the plates and the opposing forces of friction or adhesion between them. In System A, stress gradually increases until it exceeds the forces of friction, resulting in two small earthquakes. However, a major earthquake in System B will require much more preparation time. Due to a bigger adhesion zone and the larger friction forces acting here, System B will behave differently than System A. System B is locked and the Earth's core above its larger adhesion zone will be noticeably stressed, producing numerous unusual physical phenomena or anomalies that can be detected before the earthquake strikes. Such anomalies may include historic deviations for many physical parameters, such as the composition of groundwater, gas emissions, etc. Finally, a major earthquake occurs in System B after accumulated stress surpasses friction. Terra Seismic Global Earthquake Prediction Systems use satellite big data and ground-based instruments to identify areas around the world where B systems are forming. Throughout human history, earthquakes have been forecasted many times based on observation of unusual natural phenomena. The first known forecast was made by Pherosides of Syros in ancient Greece about 2,500 years ago. Pherosides made his forecast by noticing that the usually clean water from a well had become silty and muddy. The earthquake did indeed happen two days later, bringing fame to Pherosides. It is well known that in some cases, before major earthquakes, the groundwater rises to the Earth's surface. Scientists can sometimes predict major earthquakes by measuring the level and changes in groundwater composition. Another well-known phenomenon is the unusual behaviour of living beings before major earthquakes. In 1948, a catastrophic earthquake destroyed Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan. It really happened. Several seconds before this powerful earthquake, an alibay, the Central Asian shepherd dog, suddenly woke a sleeping baby girl, pulling her out of the house by her nightgown. The father tried to protect the child and ran after the alibay. A few moments later, the house collapsed amid a roar. Many animals are sensitive to gas emissions, vibrations, 
and other phenomena that may occur days, hours, or seconds before the major tremor. People who live in seismically prone regions need to pay attention to the unusual behavior of animals nearby. The Japanese believe that oarfish are harbingers of forthcoming natural disasters and call them an envoy from the palace of Dragon's King. This fish usually lives in the deep ocean waters. However, before major earthquakes, they may come to the surface. It is thought that oarfish detect changes in the composition of seawater that occur before major earthquakes. Before the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, a few oarfish were caught off the Japanese coast. In 1975, Haichang in China was hit by a strong earthquake. A month prior, snakes were observed crawling on the snow despite the cold, due to their sensitivity to gas emissions that can precede seismic activity. This unusual precursor and other phenomena helped officials issue a warning one day before the earthquake, preventing significant loss of life. Sometimes, unusual seismic clouds can be detected before major earthquakes. This cloud appears to have rectangular boundaries, which is uncommon in nature. Gas emissions from the Earth form this unusual rectangular cloud's shape, a repetition of the rectangular shape of the tectonic plates in the area. This satellite image, captured prior to a rare strong quake in Virginia in 2011, shows an unusual disruption of clouds along fault lines in this area. Again, this may have happened because of gas emissions from stressed fault lines before the event. In 2008, just two hours before a catastrophic earthquake hit Sichuan, China, colourful clouds were observed in the skies. It is believed that gas emissions from tectonic plates cause these clouds. Interestingly, in medieval China, similar clouds were considered a warning sign of an impending earthquake. Unusual natural phenomena can sometimes be observed before major earthquakes. In this film, we present just a few well-known phenomena to illustrate that the areas of future earthquakes will be stressed and can produce such phenomena before events. Terra Seismic does not use seismic clouds or unusual behaviour of living things to make predictions. Terra Seismic develops and uses revolutionary big data satellite technology capable of processing and analysing terabytes of information for all key seismically prone regions daily in almost real time. Our technology identifies areas where earthquake stress forms worldwide, showing the location of forthcoming strong and major earthquakes at least six, 12 months before the event's arrival. For our systems, we have applied all available data on earthquakes, their precursors and working forecasting methods from all sources available over the past 2,000 years.